Good morning and thank you so much for the opportunity to share this short podcast with you regarding the ICANN function or the MICF mobile health solution that's based on the ICF. When we started discussing the development of the MICF about two years ago, my first question was, well, why another app? There's 96,000 M Health applications out there, ranging from clinical tools that we're using, stuff that's linked to our mobile phones like stethoscopes or ophthalmoscopes. We can exchange radiography images with one another. There's wearables where patients or users can wear sensors that can monitor up to 126 different settings. And then we also use email applications in primary healthcare level where we where community health workers exchange or gather information about patients in a specific area. Uh, we use that in helping us in, for example, TB, HIV, you know the story. So in 2013 and 2014, the WHO asked the question, well, why is it that there's no mobile-friendly health service solution to see each person's functioning as a dynamic interaction between the person's health condition, environmental factors, and personal factors? The Functioning and Disability Reference Group of the WHO's Family of International Classifications then formed an international partnership to help address this question. Currently, we comprise of uh, 284 partners from 39 countries, and you're welcome to join. We are developing the ICANN function, or the MICF Mobile Health Solution, a state-of-the-art and paradigm-shifting platform for personalized health and social services. It's based on the WHO International Classification of Functioning, Disability and Health. For those of you who are not so familiar with the ICF, it was developed by the WHO over a period of 25 years. It's a statistical, research, clinical, social policy and educational tool to provide scientific basis, to facilitate interprofessional collaborative practice, to provide a common language between all professions and also in our approach to a patient, to permit comparison, and also to serve as a systematic coding scheme. The ICF can be used in three different sectors, if you can call it that way, on an individual level, for example, in a clinical one-to-one -one setting, in an institutional level, so that we can use the data that we've gathered to improve our services, quality improvement, patient safety, and also on a social level to help us develop and to develop social policies, social grant, uh, determining the social determinants of health. The conceptual framework itself demonstrates the complexity and the interrelatedness between various components that defines health. The changes in a person's specific body function and structure or the impairment, the functioning of a person in terms of, of activity limitations, participation restriction, and the contextual factors that is influencing a person's health. The personal factors inherited to that person and the environmental factors that also include support systems, health policies, systems for example, um, and also attitudes. The aims of the MICF is to provide service providers and health, uh, to assist providers and users of health services in the front line to identify a person's problems in terms of ICF. So that's the functional status and the contextual information. And to develop a user friendly mobile solution to amalgamate ICF related data centrally. Our first objective when we started off was to develop the specifications. For that, we have conducted the Global Needs Requirements Survey, which was completed in 2014. We developed our partnership, and you're still welcome to join, as I've said. We've conducted a detailed literature review, and we've conducted three workshops as part of the planning process. 
currently with we're busy with objective two and that is to provide a means for providers and users of health services to collect and transfer icf related information to facilitate the continuity of care our process is that of uh, agile and iterative development of the application by uh, developing and testing a minimum viable product or mvp that is a uh, the development of a first product or service with a minimum effort and minimum cost that is still very useful. And we use this iterative process in developing uh, and maturing the product. Our second aim is the big data analytics, and that is to amalgamate ICF related data centrally and to develop algorithms as we go along to enable individualized predictive service provision by utilizing big data models. In this diagram, you can see how we envisage uh, on a higher level how the um, MICF will work. On the left hand side, we'll have primary users, either the patient or the service user um, that can enter data or the service provider or interprofessional team. Through an interface, uh, the mobile device or any other device uh, that's linked or can be linked to the internet. Data will be amalgamated uh, in a secure way and then data will be processed where the MICF and the data processing will then facilitate person-centered goal setting, the continuity of care, interprofessional communication and uh, data analytics which will be fed back to the user to um, inform uh, decision making and also to improve systems in on individual level institutional level and social level so it is envisaged that the micf will ensure accurate and efficient capture of functional status and contextual information by the patient, a proxy, or a service provider to convey information securely between service providers in different settings, to facilitate clinical decision-making by making person-centered data readily available, to facilitate the administration and reporting through the aggregation of data, and to minimize the need for repeat data collection. The benefits, benefits of the MICF will be that it um, will empower providers and users of health services and other related services to enable the continuity of care, to capture the interactions between the different ICF components, to understand the complexity of interactions between health and contextual factors, person-centered decision-making and goal-setting, interprofessional and transprofessional collaborative practice, and the algorithmic data will help to strengthen health systems. So in conclusion, MICF will assist people at point of service delivery to be able to enter what is important to them about their functioning and context. So the health services can respond more appropriately. In the background, ICF related data, which will include patient reported outcomes, will be amalgamated, and this will enable individualized, predictive service provision by utilizing big data models. MICF can be a game changer in addressing health inequity by facilitating the necessary institutional reform, as well as the transformation of health professions education by utilizing person-driven and person-owned data to optimize individualized service provision and to strengthen health systems. It's now over to you, uh, Klaus, to answer a few questions. I uh, thank you so much for the opportunity to share this exciting uh, endeavor with you. God bless.